So I don't normally do things handheld in the house like this, but um, Matitz is uh, the Harley Benton SC Custom has arrived from. Uh, oh, I'll get this right now. Are we talking Slovenia? Uh, um, yes, <clears throat> we're talking Slovenia. And um, this is the first of a couple of his guitars coming in. And it's a beautiful looking thing. And I've got my details here on my other phone. And it tells me it's the Custom Lion series. Um, in mahogany body. Suetania Melissia. It's got a triple A flame. No, quadruple A flamed maple top. Um, look at that. Set neck. Yes. It's got a Jatoba fretboard. Let's have a close up look at that. So while I'm reading this, you can enjoy the details. <laughs> Uh, with trapezoid inlays actually pretty sharply done um it's a c profile neck 350 millimeter radius which is close to 12 inches i think um i could be wrong cream colored body neck and headstock binding yes we've got the binding there uh, that's about as close as we're gonna get uh split rhombus pearl inlay split rhombus mother of pearl sort of inlay yep 22 medium jumbo frets we've oh yeah okay so let's come back to those in a minute we've got a um what it calls a graphite four nut um 628 scale as you'd expect nut width width 42 double action truss rod we've got the two roswell laf play latent applied for uh, Alnico five vintage style humbuckers, um, two controls, two volumes, sorry, two volumes, one tone. And what I like about this already is that on this guitar, they are two, truly independent of each other. So you can have them both set in the middle position and uh, we've got both on there. And when you turn the, the neck one down, the treble cuts through, turn the neck one up and uh, it mixes the two. Similarly, turn the bridge one down and it's neck only. And it doesn't cut the volume out like many uh, Les Pauls do on their two volume, two tone setup. So that's pretty cool. We've got DLX Chrome hardware. We've got a Tunematic bridge, um, DLX Chrome. We've got Grover machine heads, um, big heavy beasties on the back there, on the top there. And we've got 1046 strings. And we've got the color is named Ocean Flame High Gloss. And uh, you can see that it is indeed high gloss and it's ocean and it's a flame. Now I think Matitz has um, done some tweaking here to the pole pieces. Let me just uh, let me just tell you right here and now that the price on the Harley, Harley Benton, the Toman website for this is 175 Great Britain pounds. Um, and uh, like I say, Matitz has, uh, has raised and lowered some of the pole pieces um, on both pickups this one quite quite a lot um so i'll be setting this one up for him and um we'll be replacing that nut even though it's a you know it's a fair looking thing it's essentially a plastic one it's not the end of the world but it's um it's actually currently cut <laughs> bless you it's currently cut a little bit too low um so you can see there that's that's bit below my ideal minimum that's tiny um the other thing about this guitar right now is i think the nut positioning also uh, has the bias towards the bass strings which it doesn't need right it's just the way it's been fitted but what happens is when you get down here hello there everyone if you look at it you can see the bias is heavily in favor of the low e which really we want it to do ready we want it to do at least centered or perhaps a little more Bias in favour of the high E over there. So we can actually do that because I'm going to be replacing the this here with the um, adjustable nut. Now there's one more thing, uh, two more things I can tell you about this guitar already. I'm um, just on the looking at it part. First of all is everything works as intended tone wise. Both. Um, tone to volume volume tone as you'd expect um, we've actually currently got no neck relief at all which doesn't help and so we've, we've got a very low action set on the treble side so we actually have sorry you won't be able to see this but uh. 
is this is what's called filming with one hand and playing with the other so that's too flat and it's too low and there may be some uneven frets the other thing that suddenly i realized i'd picked up which was driving me a bit bonkers let's see if i can focus in on this ready oh Who'd want that? <laughs> Let's turn this off so you can't hear that, but you can just hear this. Ready? Bend that G string. Ooh. Hmm. Annoying as hell. Imagine doing that while you were playing. Eek. Okay. Well, that's it for now. Um, we'll get into the the worky shop with it later on today or tomorrow I'm not sure exactly when pretty looking uh that's the old harley benton headstock thing sc custom lion grovers grovers and we've got a belly carve um i th and we've got a little cutaway here as well so we've got belly carve sorry i'm just looking with my real eyes not through the camera belly carve um standard joint here um a little sort of cut away for access here then we've got what i think is a pretty ugly looking arrangement i guess there's a reason for it being so geometric probably easier to cut and fit or something but i don't know it's just an odd shape really i know it's for the three position it doesn't need the standard control but why why that coffin shape anyway who cares um it's quite a thin body guitar in fact it's nearly as thin body as my super thin bodied beastie over there which is currently waiting to go out to the buffer and that's a, a got a carved top les paul as well but uh it, it doesn't have the conventional massive body thickness of the gibson les paul like this doesn't this is a, a slim down shape I, I don't know what the actual dimensions are but it's kind of similar to the one i've made over there anyway see you in the workshop with this one later on